Hello friends. Welcome to the filmmaking podcast stage. This is an information about Malayalam cinema. Part 2. History. Active Malayalam film production did not take place until the second half of the 20th century, there were only two silent films, and three Malayalam language films before 1947. With support from the Kerala state government production climbed from around six a year in the 1950s, to 30 a year in the 1960s, 40 a year in the 1970s, to 127 films in 1980. Origins 1928 The first cinema hall in Kerala, with a manually operated film projector, was opened in Thrissur by Jose Katukaran in 1907. In 1913, the first permanent theatre in Kerala was established in Thrissur town by Katukaran and was called the Jose Electrical Bioscope, now Joss Theatre. The first film made in Malayalam was Vigathakumaran. Production started in 1928, and it was released at the Capital Theatre in Thiruvananthapuram on October 23, 1930. It was produced and directed by J.C. Daniel, a businessman with no prior film experience, who is credited as the father of Malayalam cinema. Daniel founded the first film studio, the Travancore National Pictures Limited, in Kerala. A second film, Marthandavarma, based on a novel by C. V. Raman Pillai, was produced by R. Sundar Raj in 1933. However, after only being shown for four days, the film prints were confiscated due to a legal battle over copyright. The first talkie in Malayalam was Balan, released in 1938. It was directed by S. Natani with a screenplay and songs written by Muthukulam Raghavan Pillai. It was produced by Modern Theatres at Salem in the neighbouring state of Tamil Nadu. Balan was followed by Nanambaka in 1940, which was directed by S. Notani. Then came Pralata in 1941, directed by K. Subramoniam of Madras and featuring Guru Gopinath and then Kamani Gopinath. Until 1947 Malayalam films were made by Tamil producers. Artist P. J. Cherian was the first Malayala producer to venture into this field and the trend then changed. He produced Nirmala in 1948 with Joseph Cherian and baby Joseph his son and daughter-in-law in the lead roles as hero and heroine. He also cast many other family members in other roles, breaking the taboo that noble family people do not take up acting. Thus Nirmala became the first film produced by a Malayala, setting many firsts for introducing playback singing, cinema with a social theme where the entire family could sit together and watch it. Artist PJ Cherian was the first cinema producer to explore the possibility of music and songs in cinema, and thus became the pioneer to introduce playback singing in cinema. The lyrics of the film penned by the legendary Malayalam poet G. Sankara became so popular that song dance sequences became essential ingredients of the Malayalam cinema. Velanakshatram, 1949, was the first movie to be made in Kerala and it took shape at the Udaya Studios at Alepi. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.